Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. What's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the RTB podcast. I know that one. I know that hasn't been one in a while. So what's up, guys? As you can see, I'm outside today. Um, it looks, as you can see overhead, it's kind of getting kind of bad. But hopefully, what I, what I gotta say won't take too too long. So, so, for the, so, so that being said, let's get right to it. Unfortunately, um. It's it's just been sad. Um, it's been a sad year. We have like not one but two big celebrities die, not that far from each other. Um, not that long ago, um, P- Peter Solis, um, who's famous for doing the voices for both uh, Wallace and Gromit, uh, which is a famous like uh, claymation series. Um, fun fact: I used to watch it. You know, when I was in high school, I, I used to take art class, and that's one of the things the teacher would show us, like. Like, you know, one of those many styles of art, like, you know, through claymation. And I was remember just being fascinated by it. It was so great and so, like, beautiful and well done. It's considering the fact that it was just claymation. It was just, like, so well done. It was so beautiful. And it was just incredible. And I really, really liked it. And you saw the, the the movie that came out for it. And it was really, really, really well done. And it's just sad to see such an incredible act, voice actor, you know, pass away the way he did. And it was just... It's heartbreaking, and then not only that, I just my um, older brother woke me up to tell, tell me, you know, I, you know, Alex, Alex, you gotta wake up, and I'm like, what's up? And he's like, um, Adam West died, and I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, Greta Peter Solis, you know, it was sad to see him die because you know, I, I, you know, I, I grew and loved the Wallace and Gromit cart, you know, the Wallace and Gromit cartoons, but man, Adam West dying was just an absolute shock, and apparently he died of a Leukemia, battle his battle with leukemia. He was like 88 years, 88 years old, and on uh, Peter Silas was like 96. These were old guys, but still, you know, we don't want them to die. We don't, you know, what I'm saying we want them to live as long as they can. But it's just sad that, you know, they're dead and, and it's their time. And it just, it, it ultimately it sucks. It, it might be, and it, it just, it totally, totally sucks. And I and I hate it that they that they're gone because they left such incredible work behind of course with Adam West I mean he did you know the, you know Batman I mean granted you know the, the, you know, the, the, the 1960s Batman granted it was goofy and cheesy and, and maybe even stupid or people might consider a guilty pleasure but god damn it it was fun and great to watch as a kid I, I, I always watch it I always put a smile on my face even now I can I can always watch it with a smile on my face because it was so it was so well done and I, I really really loved it especially my favorite episode when it did a crossover with with um with the Green Hornet was another underrated show, so um, it's just it's just sad to see such another great icon gone. And then all of that, he was the, you know the May- Mayor West from from Family Guy. He was like, this weird cat superhero on uh, Fairly Odd Parents. So he did a lot of great voice acting roles even afterwards. I think he played like a famous like superhero in Batman the Animated Series that that Bruce Wayne was a big big fan of as well. Um, even Cameron Conroy. Uh, put out a tweet how he missed him and hope he rested in peace yeah so it, it's just like man it's just so surreal how you know that he's that he's gone it's crazy man you're here today you're here today and gone tomorrow it's just it just blows my mind so to the family and friends of peter silas and adam west both of you guys rest in peace you left an incredible impact on my childhood from from the wallace and gromit to, to of course adam west being Adam West being the first famous Batman, um, to Mayor West, to that cat superhero from Fairly Odd Parents, incredible roles and and and, and cartoons that you were involved with that I will never forget. You you adding your voices to what you guys did made made it very very special, and I'll never forget it for as long as I live. Thank you guys for your talent that you brought to the table, and may you rest in peace. All right, guys. So the, let's kind of get to some good news. I know it's old news, but let's like get to some good news to this podcast. Is that um, Nintendo did a recent Nintendo Direct um, announcing the new Pokemon games? I know it's getting a lot of a lot of shit, and and I understand why because they're expecting one thing and they got something else. They're expecting like a Diamond and Pearl remake, and instead we got a uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Granted, I know people were expecting you know the Diamond and Pearl thing, but I think it's cool. I love Sun and Moon. It was, it was, one, it was, one of my, it was amongst the top 10 games of 2016. I did a video on that. Uh, go check it out. Um, it, was, it was definitely amongst my top 10 because it was really, really good. 
it was a reboot that this in terms of my opinion it was a reboot that the series desperately needed and it was like wow well 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 done and it was well really welcomed and now we're just getting a sequel to it with, with new content Hey, I'm down for that. I'm, it comes out November 17th. Uh, fun fact, the same day as Justice League. So that's two things to look forward to. Uh, just the Justice League movie and uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, um, yeah, which one I'm getting? I'm not sure. I got to look into it, but I'll let you know. But I definitely will be getting myself a copy. I'm looking forward to, to that. But now the one that people are upset about ultimately, which I understand that people were expecting, expecting Pokemon... Was it Stars? To appear on the Switch because it's those that you know because the Nintendo announced releasing you know a Pokemon game on, on the Switch, which makes sense you know, considering the Switch is, is, is built only as a console but as a portable one as well. But sadly, uh, it, I think it ended up being you know besides Ultra Moon it ended up being instead a uh, uh, Pokemon DX, which is like a Pokemon Tournament DX. The only difference is that it is more stages in the five characters from the arcade that the Wii U version didn't get. That's the only really big difference, which. I admit, it sucks for Wii U owners like me who actually bought that version, and now that's going to be feel inferior. Same thing with Mario Kart 8 owners on Wii U. Now that's inferior now because of Deluxe, and now with Pokemon Tournament DX, Pokemon Tournament for Wii U feels, uh, you know, obsolete and feels like outdated because you know the the new characters and and, and five new characters and stages and amongst other things. Because they want, because people want you know, a Pokemon game like Ultra, like like Pokemon Sun and Moon, but on the on their Switch on the go, which makes sense because Nintendo. Okay, granted, you know, even though I am excited for um, Ultra, you know, Ultra Sun and Moon and Pokemon DX, you know, it's a little bit scummy. At the same time, it's like I'm still the bike. I know it'll be good, made with high quality. But at the same time, I understand what people be. It's one of those things like, I, and at the same time, I understand why people are upset about that because man. They were expecting, you know, a Pokemon game like on Sun and Moon but on a on a major console. People like me been wanting that shit for years. And when people finally were got it, they were gonna get it with Pokemon Stars, they were going ape shit. But no, it was Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. And then the Pokemon game that are getting is a updated version of a fighting game rather than the Wii U version. So yeah, people are obviously very, very upset about that. And I and I ultimately I can't blame them for feeling that way. It was a good expecting one thing, and you're gonna end up getting something else. In my opinion, Nintendo build it from the ground up. I don't care. You've done it before on, uh, I believe, on the GameCube, on those those two console versions of Pokemon. Um, do it again for the for, for the Switch, man. And like, well, you, you play for well, you can go outside. You know, we do it on handheld because that's to go outside and interact with the Pokemon people that play the Pokemon game. The Switch is a portable system. You built it to be a portable system. Do it. You know what I mean? Do that. Because trust me, especially if you make a Switch bundle with like the, with the custom skins of Pokemon Stars on the console and bad with the game, you know, with a, you know, with a combo pack with the game, like you're doing with Splatoon. T- let me tell you something. That combo pack will sell like hotcakes. I'm telling you. That's like millions of units sold right side there. Well, hell, that might, might push your console to the double digits already. Okay, and that's because Pokemon is a killer app, man. It's a killer app, man. When when Sun and Moon came out, 3ds's were like selling out like like crazy just to, just so people could play that new Pokemon game. And if you were to make and make that for the Switch, it's gonna make mad money. It's easy money. It's like, God, Nintendo is like, what the hell, you know? Jeez, it's such easy money. Yeah, it's like it's going right over your head. It's like, I mean, great, yeah, Pokemon tournament, it's cool and all. Now, I do wish you released a DLC patch for the Wii U owners that bought Pokemon Tournament. That's not music, by the way. <laughs> that's the that's the thing about filming outside. But damn, that music is like, that's not music. That's like trash. I'm sorry. Anyway, back on topic. I'm sorry about that. Um, point being, Nintendo. Get on that shit. Make a console version what you do with like you do with Sun and Moon or Red and Blue, whatever. Because trust me, that will sell like hotcakes. Do it. Granted, like I said Pokemon Tournament DX is pretty cool, but that's not what we want. We want a console on the go version of like we're getting with Sun and Moon. Just do it. Now, before I go, there's one more thing I did announce. It's a little bonus to the video. Um, that they even though it's been pushed back to 2018, they did an oh my spit was. Flying there, sorry about that. Um, 
they did announce that their um, online plan, and if it does well, which I'm hoping it does, it's gonna shake the industry. You know how with PlayStation and the Xbox, you need you know Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus to play online, and you gotta pay like 50, 60 bucks as much as a game, which sucks. Nintendo, for one year, you know how much they're charging? Twenty dollars. And if it does well. Which I'm, or, excuse me, which I'm hoping it does, is going to be a game changer and force PlayStation and Xbox to sell their stuff for your subscriptions to play online for cheap prices. Because what would you rather pay? $60? Especially if you own both things for 120 bucks, or just pay 60 or just pay 40 for the two? That's, which would you want? Obviously, you wouldn't want to just pay 20 and pay the 40 So, I mean, it, it, it makes sense. So I'm hoping that when it comes out next year, it, it kicks ass and takes names. So it for, like again, so it forces 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 both PlayStation and Xbox to sell their Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus for twenty bucks. And that, that and, and that I applaud Nintendo. That's how you compete. Oh yeah, you you, you well, we, we, we have online. We will charge you, but we only charge you twenty bucks for a whole year. Twenty bucks is nothing. That's nothing. That's that's that is so fucking smart. So good on you, Nintendo. Besides Ultra Sun and Ultra Monos, it's a pretty cool move. That was another good move. Good on you guys. Hopefully, like I said, it does really, really well. So that way, it forces Xbox and PlayStation to go lower. And at the end of the day, we gotta thank Nintendo because they're 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 bringing up the comp. They're forcing it through smart competition. You do the because the competition you'll do the same thing as your opponent because that's predictable and that's dumb. What you do is like, oh yeah, you're selling it for fifty. Yeah, we're gonna do a twenty. How about that? There you go. You set standards. You set standards. Like how the Dark Knight set the standards for what comic book movies should be. Nintendo set the standard what online pricing should be. Granted, it should be free, but if we're going to pay, at least be cheap. You know what I mean? Because $20, that's nothing. I'd rather pay 20 for all my stuff than, than 60 Alright, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Trust me, there'll be more coming considering that E3's here. So trust me, it's a lot more podcasts that'll be coming along the way. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hopefully see you guys again real soon. Peace out.